My name is Danielle. My name is Cassidy. We love you, Grandma. Oh, I love you too, Glamour Girls. Hi everyone, Leticia here again with Made with Love by Glamma, where everything here is always made and taught by me with love. Um, I just wanted to make this short video to thank you all for subscribing to my channel and for crocheting along with me and for all the wonderful comments that y'all have left um, where you tell me that you enjoy getting to know me, how I you enjoy um, me talking in between the instructions because it feels like you're crocheting right along with a friend and trust me you are i'm having a lot of fun making these tutorials with y'all and i actually um pretend that y'all are sitting right there with me and i'm talking to you in person and we're having coffee or a glass of wine and we're just chit chatting away and crocheting together so i tend to kind of talk um, at the beginning and I talk in between the instructions and I don't think a lot of people like that um, so clearly this isn't the right channel for them because <laughs> I'm going to continue talking to you guys my crochet friends <laughs> because that's what I would do if you were sitting right here in my living room with me I wouldn't just give you instruction and just be silent the whole time that wouldn't be very hospitable now would it <laughs> So I pretend that y'all are here with me in my living room and we're just having a cup of coffee or a glass of wine and we're just chit-chatting, talking and crocheting together. And especially y'all that I've gotten to know a lot better through comments and the ones that I've invited over to my um, crochet group page on Facebook. I've gotten to know y'all really well there. You've gotten to know me through uh, posts and through comments and sharing pictures and stuff. So I really, really enjoy you becoming part of my um, crochet group page family because that's what it feels like. And that's what I've been told by a lot of the members that it feels like they're a part of a family. And that's how I view it too. So. Um, those of y'all who don't like that, then this clearly isn't the channel for you and there's lots and lots of um, crocheting tutorial channels out there and I'm sure you'll find the one that fits you better. <laughs> and I also wanted to thank all of y'all who have uh, left comments and said, hey, ever since we saw that video where you explained what the commercials and ads are there for, we don't hit the skip ad button anymore. So I just want to thank y'all for that. Um, I, I know that sometimes it, you know, you just want to get to the tutorial and not watch the uh, 30 second commercial or ad or sometimes they're even two minutes. So I appreciate that you're not hitting the skip ad button. For those of y'all who um, didn't watch my video explaining why they're there, YouTube makes um, some money off of those commercials and ads because they offer these channels to everyone free. So that's how um, they make their, their income is through these sponsored commercials and ads, just like TV. That's why they have commercials in between our programs and stuff. So, And I get a tiny percentage of those commercials and ads that are before all of my tutorials if you don't um, hit the skip ad button. So thank y'all so much for not hitting the skip ad button. I appreciate it. And because of that, I'm gonna be able to continue making these tutorials for you. And um, I've got a lot of ideas as to um, videos that I want to make for you, especially now with spring coming around the corner and summer. I've got a lot of summer and spring ideas. and um, So I just want to thank you all once again for subscribing to my channel and sticking with me and becoming friends. I'm really, really enjoying getting to know you all. And you guys left some really, really awesome um, heartfelt comments about my um, anniversary video. I was kind of nervous putting that up there because I thought, ah, there's going to be some um, negative comments about it like hey this is a crochet channel why is that on here but but y'all have um, really really left some awesome comments and some of y'all have said it made you cry and, <laughs> and that that's the kind of love you're looking for and so that was really um, touching all right guys thank you so much to all my crochet friends and thank you for becoming part of my crochet family I'm having so much fun getting to know y'all and crocheting right along with y'all so thank you and uh, let's get on with the tutorial now okay so in a second we're gonna get started with our um, sweater tutorial um, Glamma super easy springtime sweater tutorial and I wanted to explain some stuff before I actually start the instruction part of the tutorial I wanted to explain that what we're going to do is we're going to make a chain as long as we need it 
for it to fit around us in the front, okay? So that's gonna be the first thing that we do. We're gonna make two pieces to the sweater, the front and the back. Um, and the first piece we're gonna make is the front and we wanna make the chain as long as we need it for it to go around to the side and leave a little bit of, um, maybe a quarter of an inch so that we can stitch up the sides, make a seam. And we're going to crochet as many rows as we need for it to reach the shoulder, okay? And then we're gonna make a seam up there, so leave another um, little quarter of an inch um, or so for the top to make a seam. Any of y'all who have watched my uh, craft show videos, you know that this is my mannequin and her name is Spring. And this is just coincidental that I am making Glamma's super easy springtime short sleeve sweater tutorial on spring. <laughs> I'm gonna fit it to fit her. Um, I was also gonna tell you that um, the chain that you make, if you want it to be a more form-fitting sweater, then you know make it a, a, make the chain as tight as you think you want it for the tightness of the sweater that you want. If you want it baggier, make the chain longer. Um, and also, you can make it as short as you want, or you know, since it's going to be springtime or summer here real soon, you can make it short. You can make it a midriff top, or you can make it down to your hips, or down to your thighs or knees, or however long you want your sweater. It's all up to you. I'm just going to give you the basic pattern of it, and from there, you can take it and run with it. <laughs> so this is going to be a super, super easy sweater. Alrighty, let's get started with our awesome sweater. <laughs> Okay, so on to our tutorial. I'm going to be using an H hook and I'm going to be using 100% cotton. Um, I like to use this for summer projects just because it, uh, it'll keep me cooler in the summer or springtime. And uh, I buy it in a spool. You can buy it at Walmart or Joann's or wherever. I'm sure you guys have seen this before. And so, okay, let's get started. And we're going to get started with a slip knot. And you can either make um, regular chains um, to as long as you need it for it to go from one side of your hip to the other or your waist, wherever it is that your sweater is going to fall. And so we're going to make it as long as we need it to go around the front of our, our hips or waist. Um, so. You can make regular chains or you can make a single crochet foundation chain like I'm going to do. And to make a single crochet foundation chain, you chain up two regular chains and then you go into here and you grab that top loop as well as that back loop and you yarn over and you pull your hook through. Now you have two strands, yarn over, go through one loop, yarn over, and go through both loops down. This yarn is a little harder to work with because um, it doesn't slide on your hook as easy as, as most yarns. So okay, there's one, and to continue on, you insert your hook right there at the bottom, grabbing both sides, both loops right there, see the front and the back, grab both loops, yarn over, Pull it through, if it lets me, <laughs> there we go, and then yarn over, go through one, yarn over, and go through two, and I'm going to continue doing this until um, this measures um, where I need it to be from one side of my hip to the other um, with a little bit, maybe an inch or so over, over the sides because I need to allow for a seam. Um, and I'll meet you back here. Okay, so I've got my foundation chain all crocheted and I believe I ended up making 62 um, single crochet foundation chains. Um, and so now that I'm here at the end, I'm going to chain up two, one, two, and turn my work around. And I'm going to make half double crochets for my sweater. This very first stitch is being used with that chain, and that chain is going to count as a half double crochet. And uh, so let's go ahead and get started with our half double crochets. You yarn over, and I'm going to insert my hook into the second stitch, grabbing both loops, the front and the back. I'm going to yarn over, pull it through, 
yarn over and go through all three loops okay yarn over and there we go and you just do that all the way till you get to the other end and I will meet you back here when we're close to the end okay alrighty okay so here I am close to the end of my row and I'll show you what to do next okay so now that we're there at the end chain up two for your half double crochet that chain is going to act as a half double crochet so we don't stitch into that one since it's already being used up with the chain we're going to go into the next one and make our half double crochet and then we're going to continue on until we get to the other end okay so here I am close to the end of the row and I wanted to show all you new crocheters um, the very last stitch to crochet into okay um, I know that I used to get confused as to which was the last stitch of the row because to me that looks like it's the last stitch but it's not my work used to kind of angle this way because I thought that was the last stitch but remember I said that that chain two acts as a half double crochet so we have to chain we have to um, stitch into the top of that chain two so let's go ahead and go into the top of that chain two space and sometimes it's a little difficult to get in there because it's not your regular stitch um, it's a chain so it's sometimes it's hard to get into but you got to get in there and make a stitch because that's the last stitch of the row see now it's nice and even if you would not done that your work would have angled this way the way mine used to so okay that's the last stitch and now we're going to chain up two and we're going to turn our work around and we're going to continue on um, making half double crochets so we're going to continue doing that until this piece measures all the way up to um, the bottom of the chest area okay so right where your bra the bottom of your bra strap is that's where we're going to stop and then I'm going to give you further direction um, so that's it this is so simple we're just basically going to be making a square or a rectangle for the sweater again I, I must love squares and rectangles huh? I'm always making things out of them so okay this is the bottom of your sweater we're gonna go all the way up till we get to the bottom of the chest area and then I will meet you back here okay so I'm back and I made as many rows as I needed it to go down from um, like the belt area of my jeans a little bit past a little bit lower than my belt area up to right underneath the chest area and my piece measures eight inches so um, I'm not sure how long you want to make yours but just wherever you're comfortable with and so now that I'm at the end I'm going to chain up four one two three and four and I'm gonna turn my work around okay so now that we have our work turned around we're going to make triple crochets okay um, or some people call them treble I think treble was the original way that they um, used to say it back in like the 1840s um, through the years we've started calling it triple but some people still say treble so in order to make a triple crochet you yarn over twice and we're going to go into this stitch right here um, and we're going to yarn over again pull the yarn through yarn over go through two yarn over go through two yarn over go through two and so there's your triple crochet and now we're going to chain one yarn over twice again we're going to skip that stitch and go into the next one and do our triple crochet again and then chain one and that's the pattern we're going to follow all the way across um, and the reason I'm doing that is I'm sure you noticed in the picture I weaved a piece of ribbon through here you can either weave a, and this is the right using the triple crochet um, is the right size for this ribbon to go through so that the ribbon doesn't pucker up on you you can use white you can use any color you want you can use um, pink um, whatever color that you're going to want to use 
or you don't have to use any ribbon at all. Um, you can just leave this as a design. My original um, idea for this um, sweater pattern that I came up with was just to um, have a square or a rectangle for the front and a square or a rectangle for the back. And then we were going to sew up the ends, sew up the shoulders, and that was going to be your super easy, simple sweater. But then as I crochet, I come up with other design ideas in my head. And so I came up with this. But you can just leave this design as a little peekaboo design and it'll be cute and uh, feminine looking and nothing will show because it's underneath the chest area so that would just be a little touch of sexy peekaboo-ness. <laughs> Alright guys, go ahead and finish this row if you're going to do this design with me and I'll meet you back here. Okay, so here I am close to the end of the row. I still have two stitches to go, that one and then the one on top of the uh, half the, the one that's on top of the chain of the half double crochet. So I'm going to skip that stitch and just go right into the top of that half double crochet chain, okay? Alright, there we are. We're at the end. Okay, and now for the chest area, um, we're either going to chain up one and you can turn your work around and make single crochets or you can chain up two and continue on with half double crochets. Um, for me, because I'm making the tutorial, I'm going to do half double crochets um, just because that'll be faster for me to get through this tutorial. So I'm going to chain up two, turn my work around, and then I'm going to um, Skip that stitch right there and go right into the top of this one with a half double crochet right on top of the uh, stitch where where we did the triple crochet and now that's that chain one that we made you can either half double crochet into the chain or just go through the space I think I'm gonna just go through the space the chain one space <clears throat> and that's what it would look like and now we're just going to keep doing this um, half double crochet on top of the triple stitch that we made from the previous row and then we're going to half double crochet right into that space and we're going to follow the oops and we're going to follow this pattern all the way till you get to the other end okay and meet me back there and now I'm going to chain up two and we're going to turn our work around and go the other way and I'm going to do this <clears throat> until this piece covers my chest area right up to right above the chest area where your cleavage is and so I'm going to do this for um, eight inches um, just the same size as I did as the length of this because I'm a little chesty <laughs> so it's going to take eight inches to cover me um so i don't know what it's going to take for you guys but just keep measuring it against yourself put this underneath your chest area and then just keep measuring it to see where when it reaches the top of your chest area okay i'll meet you back when i've got eight inches of half double crochets back and forth see you in a bit Okay, so I'm done with the chest area for my size. Um, here's where we did the triple crochets, and here's what I just finished for my chest area. And uh, now what I'm going to do is chain up three, and I'm going to turn my work around, and I'm going to make um, double crochets now. chain one, skip a stitch, and then go into the next one, chain one, skip a stitch, and go into the next one, and I'm going to do this all the way across, and so that's going to be right at the top of our chest area, and there's going to be at the bottom with our ribbon, and so that should look really cute. Now this is not what I initially had envisioned. I was trying to make it as simple as possible. Um, 
I'll show you the super, super easy sweater that we were going to be making. <clears throat> it was just going to be a square or a rectangle for the front and the exact same thing for the back. And we were going to stitch it up right there, the front and the back, and we were going to stitch up the sides right there. And we were going to stitch it up there and stitch it up there. And that's it. It was going to be a super, super easy sweater. Um, but I always do this. I always get, I start off one way and I end up getting ideas in my head. So I change it up. So this still is pretty much a rectangle or a square. I just decided to put a little, um, design and ribbon on here. So, and I've got, after we do this, I'm going to uh, show you what to do next. Cause now I'm even going to make an opening at the uh, at the neck area so I'm going to show you how I'm going to do that I've never done it I'm just gonna this is a trial and error thing for me so hopefully it works out well <laughs> all right guys I will see you when you are at the other end of this okay double crochet chain one skip a stitch and go into the next one okay I'm all the way to the other end and um I don't have enough stitches to chain one and then go into the chain so I'm just going to um, double crochet right into there <clears throat> because it's not really going to matter because that's going to be where whoops um, that's going to be where the seam is going to get put into so it won't even really show like I said I changed up this top so I wasn't planning on doing this so it's okay if you don't have enough um, chains to do your to do the sequence patterns, the um, chain one, skip a stitch, and then the double crochet. So, because we're going to um, sew the sides together, and so that won't even show at the end. Um, so yeah, <laughs> sorry um, that I I'm kind of making up this um, top on the fly. So you're kind of seeing how my mind works. Um, a lot of times people ask me if I have patterns for things and a lot of times I don't because I start off doing one thing and the project ends up being something different like um, that top that was on my mannequin at the beginning of the video um, spring um, what she's wearing is um, a top that started off to be a bikini top and as I was making the bikini top all kinds of ideas started flooding in my mind and I thought oh, I have to try it and so at least with that one I did write down some notes in case it turned out good with this one I haven't written any notes but at least I have it on the tutorial <laughs> if I end up liking it um, so hopefully I do if you end up um, seeing this tutorial that means I must have liked it alright guys so now what we're going to do is we chained up two and we're going to turn our work around and we're going to make um, half double crochets into all the stitches okay right there on top of the stitch that we just made from the previous row that double crochet and now we're going to make one into that space and uh, so make another one right here on top of this stitch make a half double crochet and then go into this big space and make another half double crochet then there then the space then there then the space and meet me back here when you get to the other end Okay, so I'm at the end of my row with my half double crochets and um, what you want to do at this point is just chain one and go ahead and uh, cut your yarn and leave yourself a little bit of a tail so that you can weave it in later and just pull that through and snug it down. What I want us to do now is get the width of your blouse or sweater or whatever you want to call it and put the ends together, find your center and put a, a stitch marker at the center. Okay. Okay, so now that we have our center um, we're going to work on the right side of our project and in case you don't know how to determine the right side um, when we started our our project with the um, foundation chain or if you made a regular chain your tail ended up on this side and then we made our chain and then we turned our work around and started making our rows 
Well, as long as the tail is on this side, this is the right side of the work. If the tail is over here, that's the wrong side of the work, okay? So make sure your tail is on this side and that's your right side of your work. And so let's make sure that the right side is facing up. And what we're going to do now is attach a new piece of yarn right there at that center um, place where we have our marker. So go ahead and insert your hook there and just attach a new piece of yarn. Okay, and go ahead and chain one. And then what we're going to do is um, actually chain two because we're going to continue on with half double crochets. Okay, and we're just going to continue on down the way till we get to the other end. Okay, we're going to do that till we get all the way to the end over here. And when we get to the end, we're going to just go back and forth and back and forth um, right here. So from here to here, we're just going to go back and forth, back and forth. Okay, just like we've been doing on the bodice part of it. And I changed up our sweater again. And so what we're making right now is this part. We're doing this part right now. We're going to go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth so that there's a little opening. So keep doing this, these half double crochets, until you get to the end of the row and then just go back and forth like I've been saying and keep doing this until the work measures a little bit past your shoulder, like a quarter inch past your shoulder, okay? And then we're going to attach the other side and do this side. But go ahead and meet me back here when you've got this side as long as you need it to reach your shoulder, okay? Okay, so I've got the rows that I need to reach the top of my shoulder. I ended up making 18 rows. Um, and this is, just in case you're wondering how that's going to look, this is the idea I had in my mind, was that we would sew it there at the shoulder and this would act like a little collar. And so now what we're going to do is we're going to do this side now. We're going to attach a new piece of yarn here. Make sure that you've got your right side of your project facing upward. Okay, so what we're going to do is attach our yarn over here at the end because we want to continue working on the front side. So we're going to chain up two and we're going to make a row of half double crochets, chain up two and go back this way. So rather than starting here like we did for this side, we're starting here so we can keep working on the right side of our, of our um, project. So let's get our yarn and let's get to the top of the chain here. Let's find the top of the chain there. And we're going to insert our new yarn and chain up two, one, two, and uh, incorporate your tail as your crocheting. And now just make um, your half double crochets and go all the way across. See, I'm trying to look through the camera. Sorry guys, hope I'm in the shot. Um, just keep making half double crochets all the way across and even go into that stitch with the stitch marker. When you get to that stitch, um, make your half double crochet in there and then chain up two and then go back the other way to the other end, okay? So now we're doing this side just like we did this side. And I'll meet you back when you've got the amount of rows that you need to reach your shoulder again. Okay, so I'm finished with both sides of my shoulder area. And uh, this is the idea that I had in mind. Um, the drawing is right here and so like I said the sweater or the blouse has changed several times from just a very simple square sweater to this and this is a little bit more um, detailed and uh, I was going to do it like this for a beginner but as I was doing it I uh, came up with this idea which is still a square or a rectangle of two panels, the front and the back, but I just put a little decorative, little peekaboo sexiness into our little rectangles, and um, we did this right here. So now for the uh, back panel, you're going to do the exact same thing, and then we're going to put these two pieces together. So meet me back here when you've got your back panel finished, okay? 
So for the back side, I did the exact same thing as I did to the front side. See, here's my back. I did the exact same thing that I did to the front. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the two right sides together. Um, this is my front right side and that's my back right side. So I'm putting those together. I'm going to just right here on the shoulder, I'm going to only stitch to about right there so that the front will do this. And in the back, I'm going to put a button on this side so that this closes. I wanted to show you the button that I'm going to use to close the back with. Um, so I'll probably put it like right there and then I will either use the uh, in-between stitches of the half double crochet to button it with or I may make a little loop like this um, back back here so that I can just you know um, button it that way. So I haven't decided yet. I think I might do the loop. Um, so anyway, I just wanted to give you an idea of what I'm doing. Um, you could even put a bunch of buttons back here if you wanted and use the uh, half double crochet holds right here to button it with um, so it would overlap a little bit. But I think I'm going to leave it just like this with a little loop and leave it, you know, so that it kind of opens and kind of breathes a little bit for summertime. Alrighty then. I guess you can even do this for the front. Um, button it the same way that you're going to button the back um, if you don't want the front to have like little collar area. Um, so you could do that too. You can do whatever you want with this um, with this sweater. Um, now let me show you, um, you have to determine, here's the shoulder, here's, here's where the armhole will be, here's the shoulder, and you have to determine how far you want to sew in so that your head will still go in and how big of a collar that you want in the front. Um, the the more you stitch, the less the collar will be. The less you stitch, um, the more the collar will be. Did I say that backwards? I hope not. <laughs> okay, uh, so determine how to sew the. Sh I mean, how far in to sew the shoulder, and then you have to determine how big you want the armhole. Um, so decide how big you want the armhole, and then once you decide, sew the sides together. Um, do this on both sides. That's how I'm going to stitch mine together and that is pretty much it. For anyone that's new, I'm going to show you how um, how to do a whip stitch to sew it together. So basically it's just going back and forth. I've got a long thread, long piece of yarn. Just go back and forth. Try to keep the stitches even from each other. And that's it. That's how you do a whip stitch. Um, there we go. Like that. See? And then you're going to do it again. Right here. Okay? So that's how you do a whip stitch. And that's how I'm going to close the seams on my shoulder and on my sides. And I will um, post pictures at the end of the video of what this blouse looks like on my mannequin. Okay? After we're done stitching up the shoulder and the sides, um, you can, to give it a more finished look, you can um, single crochet all the way around all the opening of the neck area um, and do the same thing on the arm area um, to give it a more finished um, straight edge look, okay, instead of this bumpy look. All right, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do single crochets all around the arm and then all around the neck area and down through here and everything. So you might want to do the same thing for a more finished, polished look. And after you're done with all of that, just turn your um, project right side out and you're ready to wear it. Enjoy! Alrighty guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, like I said, I changed it three or four times, you know, throughout this whole filming. Um, was supposed to turn out one way, turned out a different way, but I think this is really cute and pretty. So here's Glamaw's springtime blouse on my mannequin spring. And uh, here it is from the front. I think it came out really cute and pretty. Very delicate looking. And what I really love about this top is that you can change out the ribbon to um, color coordinate with whatever you're wearing that day. You can put a green ribbon, a red ribbon, a yellow ribbon, just coordinate it with the rest of your outfit 
Um, of course, my favorite color is pink, so um, she's wearing the pink one right now because she matches my formal living room right here. <laughs> I'm going to um, attach some pictures to the end of this video where she's wearing the um, pink ribbon and she's wearing the white ribbon. And here it is from this view, from this side. And I'll show you the other side in a second. And here she is from the other side. I think it looks really cute. I love the bow, I love the pink. And here's the top from the back. There's the little peekaboo sexiness. So I went with the loop um, for easy um, opening and closing and I just think that looks a little bit more elegant too. And it's easy to unbutton and to button again. So that's cute. And I like that little um, peekaboo opening right there too. But y'all can put buttons all along here if you want. And here's the uh, single crochets that I did so that it would give it a nice finished look around the sleeves and around the collar area. Now I'm going to explain something that I hope I don't confuse you, but as you know when you crochet, one side is the wrong side and one side is the right side. So with these single crochets, I wanted the right side to show here because I knew I was going to um, make it into a collar. So this is the wrong side and this is the right side. So what I did is in the back, I started on this shoulder here and I went all the way down, single crochets with the right side facing me and then I stopped here and fastened off. And then when I got to this part, because I knew that this um, was gonna be flapped over, I started a new um, piece of yarn and I worked from the inside like this with my single crochets with the wrong side facing me. I worked from the inside so that when I flipped it over like this, it would be nice and pretty. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I sure had fun um, crocheting along with you and I hope you like this design. And I'm gonna make another one, the picture that I showed you of the super, super simple top that I initially had in mind. So stay tuned for that coming up soon. And uh, I uh, really want to thank you for visiting me here again at Made With Love by Glamo, where everything here is always made and taught by me for you with love. Bye! Thank, Thank you, you for, for watching, watching our Glamour's channel. channel.